Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to me here, Dangerously, and my playthrough of the Curse of Monkey Island. So last time we got ourselves a map, we got ourselves a crew, and now all we need to do is get ourselves a ship so that we can get off this island and make our way to Blood Island in order to find um, both Elaine. I don't know if she's been taken to Blood Island yet or whether she's on this island. I think she's still on this island, I get the feeling, but I might be wrong. Maybe she is at Blood Island. Anyway, that doesn't matter. But uh, yes, we will start where we left off the last time in the Barbary Coast shop. And here is my crew. We've got Haggis McMutton, we've got Cutthroat Bill, and Edward Van Helgen, who we defeated last time in a banjo duel. I am wearing my hair uh, kind of kind of guy brushy tonight, I think, uh, with a little bit of hair down here. When I'm talking guy brush, I'm talking like Secret of Monkey Island front box art uh, look. So that's my look tonight. And I'm wearing a nice shirt because I'm just back from work. And I wear nice shirts at work. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. Cool. Avast there, you lovers. Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffer it, sailors. It is good to be dead. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so there's our first look at Demon Pirate LeChuck with his flaming beard. I always really liked the design of LeChuck in this game particularly because they made him a demon. And obviously in the first he was a ghost, second he was a zombie, and now he's a demon. Now, they didn't actually really change it up anymore after this. Um, I won't spoil anything about Escape from Monkey Island, but... Uh, yeah, obviously then it entails as well, he kind of just is, like he always has been, zombie pirate LeChuck kind of vibes. Undead, anyway, is the best thing. I love the way that those two pirates as well that originally found the boots are now just skeleton versions of themselves. <laughs> like, I wonder what the process of that is. Um, so, okay, we have, let's have a look at what's in our thing. We have the map, obviously. It's the map to Blood Island. Yeah, Blood Island. Well, Island it was pulled off. Uh, Palado's back. You are correct. It's full of red dye. Can I drink the red dye? No, it'll dye my tongue red. Yeah, but a red tongue would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I have the gold tooth. That's cool. I've already done all that. So, I think, like, what I need to do is I need to make my way to Danger Cove and see if there is anything I can do to fix that boat. This is like a puzzle that I certainly got stuck on a lot as a kid for a long time and I remember my sister and me just like couldn't, we couldn't figure it out. But let us see what we can do. I have a feeling it has something to do with the gum and the biscuit for some reason and the biscuit cutter even. So like I have a feeling it's something to do with the biscuit. I don't know why. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. Why? Why can't you plug the hole with it, Guybrush? Tell us. Like the biscuit cutter. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Why won't the biscuit cutter cut the biscuit, man? And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Do you have to put glue on it? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't paste that. And I don't have the maggots anymore. It, is it the gum? Like, do I have to use gum in it? I don't have enough gum to plug a hole that Paste? I can't paste that. 
logically, what do I have that could be used here? This serrated knife won't work here. Do I use serrated knife? This serrated knife won't work here. It's the right size, but what did he say? It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. But why? That doesn't need cooking oil. Tell me, Guybrush. But why? Do I have to, like... Chew more gum. Will that give me another piece of gum? No. I'm trying to remember this now. Like This might be the puzzle that I actually get stuck on. Or, like... Is the biscuit put there as like a like a, a kind of fake out? Is that what he's saying that it's a big enough size, but it's not the right thing or whatever? Do you have to put maggots on the hole? Do they or wood lice? Do you need like wood lice or something? They eat away at the hole or something? Of course, as always. Please sponsor me, Coke. Please. I will be your best person for the job of being the sponsor, man. Okay. Something to do with wooden nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. We have to combine the biscuit with something. That seems like a. That seems like a. That seems like that seems that seems that seems like a waste. That seems that seems like a waste of a perfectly good. That seems like a. That seems like a waste. That seems that seems that seems that seems that seems like that seems that seems that seems that seems that seems that seems like a. That that seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. And I can't eat any more of it, can I? No. No, I can't. It's the right size, but I can't. I just can't. Well, that doesn't need a gold tooth. Can't remember. Do I have to do something with the biscuit over here with the water? I don't know why I'm thinking gum. How do we plug the hole of it? That seems like a waste. Does it, Guybrush? This pipe handle. That doesn't need dying. It does, though. Everything needs dying. And this biscuit cutter. Like, why won't the biscuit cutter cut the biscuit? Do I have to get another biscuit? Is that it? And cut it to the size, the right size of the thing. Uh, we'll go. I don't think it's anything to do with the drain pipe or anything. Captain Blondebeard again. Right. I don't want any maggot filled biscuits. What you do? Biscuit cutter. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Very quiet patron. Excuse me. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Aye. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like Guybrush every time that he like sees something that he doesn't have a line of dialogue for. Hmm. And I can't open this travel trunk. It looks too heavy for me to carry. Why do I remember potentially wood dice? Hmm. I have to saw that plank. I know I have to saw a plank in the game. Next we'll. Mm, no. Oh, Romeo, yada 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 yada. Have I anything more to Excuse say me. to this man? Carry on. In the next scene, I. In this scene, you are in love. Mm. And I don't have the. Because I think they're on the ship. I don't have the, like, instructions for that. Like, the only other places on the island to go 
are the shore in here, and I don't think there's anything else in here. I think I have everything, but I'm just not thinking about the right object. Do I have to deep fry that? I don't know why I would have to deep fry it, but do I have to? That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. That seems like a waste of a perfectly And I don't just need to put That seems like a waste of a perfect That seems like a waste That seems like a waste of a perfect I can't use the skeleton I don't think that there's already an I can't use the skeleton armor. I don't think that glove will fit. The glove won't work with that the glove won't work with that. I can't use the reed with that. The biscuit is the perfect size, but it won't plug the hole. Why is this the case? That's what I want to know. And where does that lead? Alright, okay. So is there two ways in? Oh, there's only one way to change your glove. Okay. 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 Come on, Guybrush. You can do it. Do I throw something to the sharks? That doesn't need dying. Yes, it does. And this biscuit. This pie pan won't. That seems like a waste of. It's not though. It's not cooking oil. That doesn't need cooking oil. That doesn't need cooking oil. I don't want to pin that. I don't want to pin that. It's got a huge hole in the bottom. It's nah. It's a nice boat, except for that enormous gaping hole in the bottom. It makes the boat completely unseaworthy. Nah. I'd get a nasty. And I don't have to like. I don't want to cut. Yeah, that. cut it in any way or shave it down. And it's definitely not the gum. I don't have enough gum to plug a hole that big. Paste. I can't paste that. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. But it's a biscuit. That seems like a. That seems like a. That seems like a. That seems. That's. That seems. That seems. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. Why not, though, Guybrush? Why not? It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole. With it. This serrated knife won't work here. I don't need a membership card for that. I don't need a membership card for that. Hmm. That's not this pirate literature. This is only for reading. Hey, you guys! Come back here! The glove? The glove doesn't do anything, does it? The glove won't work with that. Hmm. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. Yeah, that's just a, like, later puzzle thing. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Why do I remember this biscuit cutter having something to do with it's it? It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. It's the right size. It's the right size, but I can't. So, like, is everything the right size? This pipe won't do it. This serrated knife. That doesn't need a gold. So the biscuit cutter is also the right size. This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. 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 This biscuit cutter. This biscuit cutter won't do any. This biscuit. This bit. This. 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 This bit. This bit. This. This bit. When in doubt, try everything with everything, right? This bit. This. 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 This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. But it's not a perfectly good biscuit. It's a rotten biscuit. No. He doesn't want to eat anymore. Mmm. Maggoty. How should I use this biscuit? It has something to do with the escaping right hole. Size, but I can't plug the hole with this. That's what it is, Guybrush. Why can't you plug the hole with it, though? 
Yeah, like why the paste? Surely, I have vaguely vague memory of the paste doing something. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I want to hang on to this flyer. Hmm. Like I don't want to be stuck on this for too long. What am I missing? Okay, I need to have just a quick look around the island. I've got a feeling it's like everything I need is here. For some reason, but... I also get the feeling I might be missing something. It's gonna get to fourth, is there? Chickens... Handprints... We already used the ember. The voodoo lady's place wouldn't have anything that I could use, would it? Murray has nothing more to say, obviously. I think he wants to be alone, right? Does the voodoo lady have any helpful tips about boats, maintenance? Who did you say kidnapped Elaine? She's probably been stolen by the mangy pirates oh, anchored in yeah, Danger yeah. Cove. Danger Cove, got it. Tell me again how to lift this curse. You need to replace the cursed ring with a pure one on Blood Island. And to get to Blood Island, you need a map, a ship, and a crew. Yeah, I have the map, map and I have the crew. Got it. Thanks for your help. Gotta go. And I don't need to, like, use another... Like, caught another biscuit inside here with the biscuit cutter. Or does it have something to do with this mud? That seems like a waste of a perfectly good bit. And I can't do anything with that. This gum feels warm. <laughs> Interesting. Bit oh jerky bubble gum. That doesn't need that doesn't need that does that doesn't need that that does that that does that that does that that doesn't need gum. I thought he was gonna do that something. Doesn't need gum. <laughs> I was kinda shocked there for a minute. And I can't push him again, can I? He's dead. I don't wanna touch him. But I want you to touch him. This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. But it's a biscuit. Cut it. That seems like a waste. That seems like a. That seems like a. That seems like a, that seem, that seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. That seems like a waste. That seems. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. It's a skeleton arm with paste all over it. I, I can't use this. There's already enough paste. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use. I can't use the skeleton arm. With mm. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use this. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. This area to knife. This area. This area. This. This area. This area. I don't want. This area to knife won't work. I don't want to cut that. This area. This area. This area. This area. This. This area. This area. This. 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 No. There's nothing more to say to Captain Blondebeard, is there? To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? To the pirates at Danger Cove. I'll let you get back to work. Hi. Does it have something to do with this painting? The devil chicken. No, nothing to do with that. And it's nothing to do with this reservation book. It's the reservation book for the restaurant. It looks too heavy to carry around. Nah. It's the Mater D podium. I don't have to use that arm in the biscuit test here. I can't use the skeleton arm. Or knife it. <laughs> this area to knife. Or dye them all in. That doesn't need dying. And I've definitely gotten everything from here. 
Looks too big for me. It's a deloused pirate coat. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. The biscuit cutter on the rubber tree. That's what it is. Ah. Ah, thank God I came up here. That's exactly what it is, isn't it? Yes. Brilliant. And now we've got a yeah, I've got a rubber plug to literally plug the hole on the ship. It only took me nearly 20 minutes, but here we are. Thank you for sticking with me. See, they kind of trick you with that biscuit, don't they? They like get you thinking that oh well the biscuit's the right size, so blah blah blue. So you'll be there trying to use the biscuit in different ways, but it doesn't work. And it's all it is is you just use the rubber from a rubber tree and you plug the hole with it then. Wow, for a homemade rubber plug, that worked very nicely. It won't stay in there. Ah, cool. Excellent. So it's a two-part puzzle. I obviously have to gum this up somewhere. I've I can't plug that up. Paste. The plug is all pasty now. There you are. Perfect. You see, like they should have allowed you paste the gaping hole because that would have made the puzzle kind of like easier in a way. And obviously the puzzle shouldn't be super easy, but like. Looks watertight to me. Yeah, looks watertight to me as well, Guybrush. Let's get going. Yeah, they should have allowed you to put it on that though. It would have kind of made you be able to do the puzzle maybe a little easier. That's fun. I love when Monkey Island gives you vehicles that you can use and move around the world in. Like obviously there's absolutely no point for, for me to be able to just fly around here. Like all I'm going is straight to the pirate ship. That's a cool piece of music. I remember this well. Either it's a time-honored form of pirate torture, or just a loose board. Looks like a light is on in the captain's cabin. I don't want anyone to know I'm here. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find another way in. Right, okay, so I can't, uh... Okay, so I'm actually going to save it here so I can uh, just go straight back to this location. So, board the ship. Okay. So, yeah, because there's something to do with this plank and, like, I know what the puzzle is, but I want to see what happens if you don't do that. Oh, yeah, look at the robot. It's my trusty robot. Nah. I presume I can just use it again. Yeah, I can. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. Fifteen men on a dead man's. Huh. Who are you? What? What's his name? Fozzie or Fonzie? Ah, uh, I haven't seen that character model in so long. He's losing his mind, this guy. And I want my girlfriend. Uh, unsigned Guybrush Threepwood, reporting for duty, sir. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I mean to kill you all. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey. Fossey, yeah. I'm the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. The Dread Pirate, Lechi. Yes, Captain, it's on the table, sir. Lecce? That's right. Captain Lechi. Yes, Captain, just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. <laughs> feathered sound good. How about just feathered? Couldn't you just let me off with a stern warning? <laughs> Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or sickness? Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or stickiness? No. Sorry. Well, 
I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. Oh? What do you say, men? Shall we make him walk the plank? Oh, the monkeys. Last words, three foot. I will never rest until I find Elaine. I'll be back to kill you all. I have to. I just love this one. I'll be back to kill you all. All right. In you go. And that's on. There was no splash. Splash! Uh. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Right, up we go again. Obviously, he'll just know who we are straight away, right? Oh, I can have a look around. Let's look at this. It's a big old sloppy bucket of tar. Pick it up. Who's there? You again? I don't know how or why you came back bored. But you'll be sorry you did. He just has to walk it again. Okay. Right, in you go. I want to see no, like some of the alternative, um, the alternative things that we can say. Like you know, I I I went for the I'm gonna kill you all bit there, but I want to try some different ones. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? Okay. <laughs> uh, Ensign Guybrush Streetwood reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. Hi, and Mr. Fossey. And the first <laughs> Mr. Fossey's so weird. Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. The dread pirate. Legit. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Let's jump. That's right. Captain, let's... I like that little bit. That, it's so funny. Like, let's... And we don't know what his full name is. And we're obviously led to believe that, oh, it's a shock. He's on this. But he, we know. We know he's not. Hard and feathered. Or you can walk the plank. Okay. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have okay. to go with walking. What? Let's just have one look at yes. some of the other little first answers and then leave it at that. Fifteen so I want my girlfriend. I'm Guybrush Streepwood and I want my girlfriend. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, three. Couldn't you turn <laughs> me off with a stern warning? No. Okay, cool. Right, so in order to basically not continuously jump off the boat over and over and over again and to actually get tired and feather because they're trying to save their tire and feather, we have to use the serrated knife on the plank so they have no option but to tire and feather me. Man on a dead man's huh? Who are you? Yeah, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty, mighty pirate. pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I walked that plank thing on the way up. Good enough? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. Yet, yet again, like learning while playing Monkey Island. What's that, Captain? Handles. Well, it looks like we're having technical, technical difficulties. Wood, so we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. I love this. Look at the way they grab Guybrush. <laughs> The fucking pillow. So what do I do now? <laughs> oh, we've never done this before. 
Humiliated? Uh, I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. Oh, maybe the... Well, the plank is there for later on, I think. Now, interesting thing about this as well is I can actually wash off the tar and feather. Um, I am tarred. Two oars and tarred and feathered. What I like as well about that, like, yet again, you know, learning while playing Monkey Island. Like, I didn't know that back in the day they actually used tar to plug holes in pirate boats and boats in general. So I think that's like really cool that they just, you know, there's a bit of teaching, a bit of learning, a bit of learning. I'm always up for learning. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. But you can use the waterfall to wash it off. So like, watch this now. I'll save it. I'll just save over the same one. Okay. Right? And if I go in here, it'll wash off the tar and feather. The waterfall washed off all the tar and feathers. I feel fresh and clean as a spring morning now. And there you go. So you can just be washed off, but of course we want to stay in the tar and feathers and we want to use it in a funny way. I wonder if I go elsewhere actually in the island, will anybody comment on it? What about the voodoo? Will the voodoo lady comment on it? Murray will, surely. El Pollo Diablo! At last, one of my demonic <laughs> brethren come to set me free. Oh, brother. Come, release me so that I might run free alongside you as we terrorize the <laughs> this island. I'm out of here. Wait, don't leave. <laughs> oh, please. That's so funny. I've never seen that because we didn't, we didn't think probably to go to the swamp and see the reaction. El Pollo Diablo, you have returned for me. Oops. Uh, we can begin our reign of demonic terror. Wait. Oh, poor Murray. He just wants to be evil with El Pollo Diablo. The same thing, obviously, again. El Pollo Diablo. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Denny Delks, so good, isn't he? With the voice, like that Murray voice is excellent. He's asleep. Look at Guybrush, a chicken man. It's brilliant. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, I have to go into the Barbary Ghost. <laughs> it's El Pollo Diablo, the demon chicken. <laughs> we don't serve your kind here. Beat it. Get me the scissors. Eviscerate him! He'll regret ever setting claws in this place. I want the neck! <laughs> it's El Pollo Diablo! Eviscerate! Okay, right, same thing there. What about inside with- El Pollo Diablo! Kill him! Uh-oh. It's El I love that. I like that they've given everybody kind of different little interactions. I don't think I've ever seen any of them. That's kind of interesting. Obviously, the the person that we need to go to as El Pollo Diablo is there's only one man really in town. Do you have a reservation? Madre de Dios! It's El Pollo Diablo! Okay. <laughs> yes, I've released your prisoners and I'll come for you. I have to see some of these. Save. I am the chicken. <laughs> oh, it's so good. This is so funny. Okay, we'll start with this. Si, he dejado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Bonk! Brilliant. Right. Hang on now, we're gonna save that next bit. Yes, I have released your prisoners and now I've come for you. Well, you're not taking me without a fight! Bonk! Okay. Load, I am the chicken. Huh? It's El Pollo Diablo! 
the giant demon chicken of Puerto Poil. You weren't content just to release all my chickens and scare all my customers away, were you? Uh, that's right. Well, you're not taking... You're not taking me without a fight. And me. Okay. It's El Pollo Diablo. Okay. The giant demon Brilliant. chicken of so, Puerto Poil. I'm gonna guess. You weren't content just to release all my Bonked chickens. on the head Scare and then we are away, somewhere else. Not. Because uh, where, right. of course, well, is Blondebeard sending all of his chicken at the moment that he's making? On to the sea cucumber. This chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, <laughs> a doer. I'm just a tiny bit of fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain. Fresh bananas for the whole crew. A lunatic. An utter yeah. loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. Why, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. <laughs> Mr. Fuzzy is absolute lunatic. I love it. If I climb out this porthole, I'll wind up floating on the plank I cut. Okay, well, can I open the window? I can, and I can leave at any time I want. So, save. Le Chimp. I like that. I like that little joke. Captain Le Chimp. It's a bowl of fruit. Pick it up. I'm not in the mood for fruit. Eat it. I'm not in the mood for fruit. As well, so, like, Blondebeard cooked Guybrush, realistically, right? It wasn't just a live chicken, like, scent, right? Right? So should Guybrush not be dead? Yeah, it's a porcelain pitcher. Oh yeah. Ah, I hate porcelain. It's a long story. I'll explain later. Yeah, he exp he hates porcelain. It's made from porcelain. I I don't I, like it's obviously one of these jokes. It's like a non sequitur joke, a joke to kind of just stay put in and doesn't really mean anything. Um, it's a tire swing. It's a bowl of bananas. Mm. But yeah, Guybrush is afraid of porcelain. Not sure why. I don't like to chew anything a gorilla sat on. Mm, no. Mm, no. Hey. I wonder how soon these will sprout flies. Very soon. Pick them up. I don't want another biscuit. Yes, you do. Bread. Mm, my favorite. Plunder bread. Plunder bread? I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. I don't want any plunder bread. Butter. I love the way. Stick of butter. Like it. If I pick it up, it'll melt in my pants. <laughs> like, look, they've given everything on the table. Like, obviously a reaction or something. Lovely place setting for a gorilla. I don't want that. It's the dread pirate Lechimp. I don't think so. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. It's Mr. Fossey, the first mate. If he knows I'm here, he might do something even more horrible to me. If he knows I'm here, he might do something even more horrible to me. Salt and pepper shakers. Pick them up. I avoid salt whenever possible and only use fresh ground pepper. Fair enough. Salt and pepper alone aren't very tasty. Looks like mashed potatoes. Pick them up. I hear gorillas are touchy about stealing their food. Eat. I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. It's a bowl of bananas. Pick them up. I'm not in the mood for bananas. Eat them. I'm not in the mood for bananas. Cranberries? Now that's a lot of cranberries. Yeah, it is. There's loads of cranberries. I never liked cranberries and I don't plan to start now. I never liked cranberries and I don't plan to start. I don't want anything that smelly. It's some smelly smell. I don't want anything that smelly. I think I'll leave that here. It's a carafe of balsamic vinegar. Vinegar isn't brewed for drinking. Now the corn is all buttery and greasy. I didn't know corn grew in the tropics. I don't want to get the kernels stuck in my teeth. Fair enough. Oh, and tickets. It's two tickets for the Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. Ah, so we'll be able to get some tickets. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. That's true. Nah. And treasure map. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. Yep. 
They'd see me. Of course they would. Nah. And a vase? Ah, uh, it's a porcelain vase. More porcelain? When will this nightmare end? It's made from porcelain. He just hates porcelain so much. So, oh hey. It's a bed of hay. It's a bed of hay, hey. I don't want any smelly old hay. I want some smelly old it hay. It doesn't look too appetizing. Okay, I think that's everything in this room that I can interact with and look at. Okay. Oh, chicken grease. It's all over everything. Okay, well, so what I need to do here now is what we've done previously. I can use it on Fuzzy or am I using it as the uh, chimp? Uh, uh, testing, testing, uh, check one, two, uh, uh, three. Uh oh, I'm hearing the voices again. <laughs> Mr. Fuzzy, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkey. <laughs> you mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Yeah. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. Brilliant. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. With eyes open, follow the path to the X. Southeast, northwest, oh. And I can't take the tickets. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. It's the Dread Pirate Lechimp. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can... I don't think so. And if I can... Can I use the ventriloquism book again on him here? I've got nothing to say. He does have nothing to say. Okay. And I can't take any of the fruit. I'm not in the mood for fruit. And there we are. That's pretty much that boat. I don't think I go back to it. Do do I go back here at all? They're all gone, are they? Pick it up. It's empty. That's not empty. And he just left the chimp here. How sad. Well, Captain LeChimp is going to stay there for the rest of his days. Okay. So now we go back to the theater. I mean, I'm going to go quicker way in. Yeah. I like that you can move quickly. Now look. You <laughs> brute. They finally They finally have an audience. Oh, I just can't watch. Okay. Okay, so I need to follow these. With eyes open, follow the path to the X. Southeast, northwest. Should probably take these down. Do I have any way of doing that? Here in this new area that I am in? I think I do. Got a piece of paper, right? Okay, so. Taking notes. Just like the old days. I miss when games were like this. It's a lot of fun. So, south, e south east. Then, northwest. West. South east. East two paces northeast. So that's twice on northeast, is it? X two. 
and east and south west so how this puzzle works is that with eyes open follow the path to the x so the eyes are open here and obviously if i pull that or sorry if i press the wrong one so with eyes open and we've got all of the directions here so this is north east or south sorry southeast is what we have to start with so or sorry this is southeast over here not that's that was northwest okay so south east yeah then we've got northwest and we've got west and we've got south and we've got east and we've got two northeast one ah uh, look there's sam from sam and max or is it Max? Max, it's Max, it's Max, it's Max. Northeast, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Sam and Max. So, east. And then finally, southwest. That's it! That must be where Elaine is buried. It sure is. And now. The moment I know you've all been waiting for! How about some amazing juggling? <laughs> right, and then I it so I need to get onto this stage, cannonballs. Right. Now I can see cannonballs. I don't wanna haul those cannonballs around. Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's free! See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself, and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. So do I. I think I remember what to do now. I need to use the chicken grease to make these cannonballs slippy. Uh-oh. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. He's gonna. <laughs> and now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Very famous. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> and the two of them. <laughs> monkeys love that. It had a happy ending and he got the, um, got the girl in the end. Listen to that. It's quite beautiful, really, isn't it? Oh, the nice sound of ambience. One monkey still there. Can I get up there? Wherefore would I put it? It's Juliet's balcony. Nah. Plank? I don't need a plank to walk. I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. Right, let's look at this headstone before we dig anything up. It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. Pick it up. I can't use a paper mache headstone. It's a prop shovel. I love the way that they've buried her in a fake grave. Elaine must be buried underneath the stage. I can't dig it up with my bare hands. Eat it. Elaine! You there? Okay, pick up shovel. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest, for now. And here we go. So we've actually taken the sea cucumber as well, our own I've ship. Got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So what say we head on to Blood Island oh, to lift the Here we are, guys. Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on. This is a treat out. part guys. of the game. This is one of the most memorable it's parts of this game. more difficult than I first imagined. Part three. Three sheets to the wind. Ah, the sea. Aye, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. Sure does. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey. Look, guys. A whale! Yeah! Where? That ship is gaining on us! Cutthroat Bill! Break the topsail! Is that a right whale? 
You know that. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Well, well. Brannigan, so it's you. What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paperweight for my escritoire. Ooh, Escrita. look! It's breaching! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ah. Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet <laughs> and weigh 200 metric tons. You know what, girls? In a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? <laughs> so when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... Oh, that's so cliche. I know the answer. Uh, I... Poor guy, bro. Just not ready. Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. <laughs> That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through piloting these waters, it's off to Blood Alone. Okay. Blood Alone. Monsieur Treepood. Mr. Treepood. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. We're a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. What's so funny about this part of the game? Great song, great section of the game, but as a kid, I was as annoyed as Guybrush is. I just wanted them to shut the hell up and get on with it, like, but it just felt like it went on forever no matter what you said. Okay, here we go. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a clever two for rovers. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned up. A pirate I was meant, meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. sea. <laughs> Less singing. Less singing. More, more sailing. sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. I love their dance as well. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will bring you to a cracking. Ah, pirate, pirate, I was meant to be. be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Ah, uh, so funny. So good. <laughs> I just noticed Guybrush's face. No time for song. We got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We only roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A yeah, pirate I was meant to be. <laughs> Poor old guy rush. and roam the sea. I remember being as annoyed. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fight. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you only guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> ah. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what we'll polish and the deck is what we'll mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving babush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> All right, crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we never shirk. 
We'll fight you in the harbor. We'll battle you on land. Oh, when you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> oh, God. And so the trick here, obviously, as I'm going to reference here with this line, is I'm so sick of you guys and your rhyming. And so how do you defeat a rhyme? Getting so sick they keep you guys and your rhyming. Rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. Priming. Rhyming. We're troublesome corsairs. We've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot, shoot you in the, in the down, down before we had a rest my measures. Nine is meant to be in the sails and roam the sea. Great song. And you see here we have it figured out because what is one of the English words in the English language? Oh, I, I love that. They're still going. Rome the sea. Uh, orange, obviously. You can't really rhyme anything with orange. So that's the word we use in order to defeat them here. But funnily enough, interesting thing to say about this before I say this line. Obviously, this game was released in several languages, right? And one of, or like all of those languages, of course, aren't in English. And this joke and puzzle relies solely on the rhyming that you can do within the English language. So I actually think that this section wasn't in many of the international different language versions. Because, of course, the whole idea that you can't rhyme anything with orange is kind of fairly specific to the English language. Um, so there's a bit of interesting trivia for you about it. But here we go. And look how happy Guybrush is to have figured out. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Captain! Yes, Mr. McMahon? We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for a ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspect of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Yeah, I think I'd prefer tough sea battles just because I think it'll add something to this whole uh, game. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. Awesome. Ladies and gents, I could go on and do this whole section now, but I think that that's going to make the video drag on. And I think it would be interesting to have an entire episode dedicated to the next thing that I'm going to be doing. Because I think it's quite an interesting part of the game. Um, of course, we're going to have to go out. We're, well, we are out at sea. We're going to have to go out and go around the seas and basically defeat some pirates and find Captain Rottingham and get back our map so that we can go to Blood Island. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it there and I think, you know, Pirate I Was Meant To Be is a good place to leave it <laughs> while uh, Edward Van Helgen uh, flies around the ropes on the ship. And I think we will return to it the next time because I think that'll be interesting to have an episode dedicated to um, the pirating that we are going to be doing. So, a pirate I am <laughs> instead of a pirate I was meant to be. Okay. So, ladies and gents, as always, it's an absolute pleasure playing Monkey Island for you all. I hope you are enjoying this series so far. Um, in the last episode at the start, I was kind of talking about how I was feeling the game wasn't like... It wasn't as fun or something as I remembered it, or it was a bit different or weird. I wasn't kind of enjoying it at the start. But by the end of that episode, that was a really fun episode, I felt. This now again has made me kind of fall back in love uh, with this game. like, And I, I, I really do love what it did. Um, obviously, it's different to Monkey Island 1 and 2, no question. 
but I really do enjoy what it's after doing um, and what it's trying to do as well. It, you can tell that it's been made with a lot of love for the series. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gents. It's been a pleasure playing for all of you. And I salute you all. I'll see you next time on Dangerously, this channel. So, see you around. Goodbye.